Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sarnet Television. Now we don't often get the Ford Interceptor sedan here at Sirenet and Star Car. And when we do, we take the opportunity to get a little bit of filming done and uh, give you a little uh, review of that particular film. Chris is up on the big screen behind me here right now. And we're going to be taking a look at this 2015 Ford Interceptor sedan. Take it away, Chris. Well, thank you, Stuart, and thank you for joining us here at Sirenet Installations. It may be a gray day outside, but nevertheless, it is a wonderful time to present you with a fresh Ford Interceptor police sedan. The gang here at Star Cars has done a wonderful job putting this vehicle together. So we'll take you for a tour around the inside and around the outside as well of this wonderful sedan platform. So let's go ahead, get started. In the front grille of the Ford Interceptor, we've used a pair of ions from Whelan Engineering. Nice and effective they are, red, blue. Nice thing about the light heads is they offer a variety of different flash patterns. So with that, as the end user, if you're going to be installing these on your own application, you can go through, make adjustments to the flash pattern, so fast or slow, whatever works for you, your own preference, and then you can tie them together using the synchronization wires. So with that, simultaneous or a nice effective alternating flash pattern, as you can see here. In the front grille, you'll also notice one of our Sirenet SN SP1 speakers. It's been installed using a bracket specific for the Ford Interceptor, and with that, installation was quite easy to do. In the front headlight buckets, you'll notice two different sets of LED hideaways. On the outside, the white is Code 3's Police Interceptor Twist Lock. It's a special LED hideaway that is designed for the Ford Police Package Interceptor and Interceptor Utility. On the inside of the headlights, we have used Code 3's HB6 pack, their High to Blast 6 diode LED hideaway. So, two different versions, one for a twist lock into the Ford pre-cut hole, and also another on the inner of the headlight for a universal install with a 7 8 diameter hole drilled in. For rounding out the sides of the interceptor, sound off signal intersectors have been installed on the driver and passenger side rear view mirrors. The Interceptor has been installed with a special mounting adapter kit that is designed specifically for the Ford Interceptor sedan. So by using this kit with the Interceptors, it not only creates a perfect spread for the 180 degree light output that the Interceptor offers, but it mounts it specifically on the contour of the bottom of the mirror and has it nice and level, making it the most effective it can be. For midship lighting at the middle of the sedan, we've used our Sirenet GL2 LED light head. Custom mounting brackets were put together by the guys here at Star Car to affix them off the vehicle's partition and angling them through the side window, as you can see. So custom mounting bracket, taking our Sirenet GL2 light head and making it really effective for the car's side protection and lighting system. On the rear deck, we've used a pair of Spitfire ions from Whelan Engineering. Neat thing about this product is out of the package, it comes with a 12 volt plug-in. For folks looking to do a permanent installation, you can snip off the 12 volt plug, hardwire them into your vehicle's siren and lighting controller, and there is a hidden synchronization wire inside the polycarbonate shroud that allow you to tie Spitfire ions together or with other lighting product from Whelan to synchronize them. A great thing about the Ford Interceptor is how accommodating the rear taillight is for LED hideaways. On the intersection, hidden behind the clear lenses, we've brought back the Code 3 Hide Blast. Red on the bottom, blue on the top, making a really nice effective lighting array on the back of the car. The rear warning system of our Interceptor is very effective, but as you'll notice, when the rear trunk is lifted upward, the back of our overhead light bar has now become obstructed. So to work around that, we have taken a pair of our Sirenet GL3 light heads. Star Cars made a custom set of mounting brackets to fashion them into the bottom of the trunk, as you can see here. So with these, nice and bright, all the lighting to the back of the car is very effective. In the rear trunk, a electronic slide-out tray has also been installed. So this makes a wonderful home for the sound off energy main amplifier control. All of the wiring, as you can see here, beautifully laid out by the hard workers of Star Cars. And this is the main power distribution module. So with that, it controls the electronic system tied into our service package vehicle here. As you can see, a wonderful layout of inline fusings, making everything nice and protected for the electronics. 
As we've been touring around the car, you may have noticed the overhead light bar. Best way to put it, new car, aged light bar. What has been done, and this is the great thing about LED product, is it will last a long, long time. So the agency took the Code 3 2100 series light bar from their 2010 Ford Crown Vic and reintroduced it to the 2015 Interceptor sedan. All that had to be done was dismounting it from the Ford Crown Vic, simply adjusting the mounting feet that were already part of the light bar itself, so it just slightly pulled out to the edges more, and then a hook kit from Code 3 after all the Ford Crown Vic versus the Ford Interceptor sedan, completely different roof and door lines. So simply ordering a new hook kit for the new vehicle, took the light bar, mounted it on, absolutely wonderful. Here at Sirenet, when we present you with installations, a common question comes up in regards to the hook kits that are used on various light bars. So the hook kit itself is actually a contoured piece of metal that's vehicle specific. So you're gonna notice a different part number, whether it is a SUV, a truck, a sedan, a Chevy, a Ford, a Dodge, and so on. So they are contoured to meet the specific curve and door contour of each vehicle and to secure them into the door channel, it's not just a matter of simply pinching it on and torquing it down with the hardware inside the light bar. You're actually going to drill additional holes into the door jam to take advantage of the mounting hardware that's included with the hook kit. So as you can see here, using the hook kit designed specifically for this year of Ford Interceptor sedan, it affixes midship between the door jams and is actually held in with a total of five screws. On emergency service vehicles, something that should never be left off the equipment list is the A-pillar mounted spotlight system. In this case, for our Ford sedan, we've gone ahead and installed one onto the driver's side. We've also taken advantage of an LED PAR46 two degree spot lamp that we have available for you through our Sirenet brand of products. It's our SNSL1. From the officer's point of view on the interior of the car, we have a wonderful operating system that's been put together. We have a Havis docking station, so keyboard on the bottom, computer mounted into the center, as you can see here, locks into place, and also is provided with power. Moving down below, we have a wonderful equipment console from Havis that's also been installed. Wonderfully contains the Motorola radio and the sound off signal, siren, and lighting controller that's been used. Nice thing about the control system, it easily allows the vehicle operator to tie in the warning light system, so progressive switches you can see there. Push buttons on the top, tying into the overhead light bar, alleys, front takedowns as well, and easy push buttons for operating the siren tones as needed. In the rear transport area, a wonderful array of ProGuard equipment has been installed. We have a front partition with a one-piece polycarbonate window, side window wraps and sides on the partition as well. So this divides the front officer area from the rear seat area. We've installed an ABS transport seat as well. Seat belts are included. So this actually completely replaces the factory provided rear seat. Moving over to the doors, you'll also notice some modifications have been made. The OEM door panels have been removed. Flat panels have been installed. These are a polycarbonate overlay from ProGuard and also clear polycarbonate window barriers. So there you have it, a wonderful police package vehicle. It's a 2015 Ford Interceptor put together by the hardworking guys here at Star Cars. I'm Chris, thanks for joining me here. Back to you, Stuart. Well, there you have Chris out in the field. Always nice to have him running around out there. You've been looking at the 2015 Ford Interceptor sedan. The parts in question are available here on Sirenet, so go ahead and check those out. I'm Stuart, and as always, many thanks for watching, and a shout out for the gang at Starcar. Thanks for letting us film.